when I talk to a lot of students who are struggling with, with their studying, one of the things that I, I pick up quite a lot is that somewhere along the line, they've lost the excitement for their qualification and for their journey. And this is completely understandable because it's long, it's tough, it's tedious. And so you're working towards this flag on a hill and it, you know, it feels very far away. And in a lot of cases, it is very far away. It could be a couple of years away. So it's very difficult to maintain a sense of enthusiasm and excitement throughout your entire qualification journey because, oh my goodness, it's long, it's painful, a lot goes wrong. And so it just, sometimes it just feels like, is this really going to be worth it? Because, oh my goodness, this is, you know, this is painful. This is tedious. There's a lot of sacrifices. I'm not sure if it's all going to be worthwhile. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to make it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I just don't know, you know? And, and that's completely fine. What I want for you is to get excited. I want you to be excited about your career. The only person who can get you excited about your career and the possibilities that are out there that are awaiting you is you. What we're not really aware of when we're in that journey is the, the level of obsession and closedness, if you will, that, that we operate in. Completely understandably, there's nothing wrong with you. It's a characteristic of the journey that you're on is you're continuously surrounded by the same types of people doing the same things and everybody's the same, right? We're all heading in the same direction and so everything is the same. If you are studying, your lecturers are not going to expose you to stuff outside the syllabus because there's never time for that. Not to mention the fact that most students... You know, their first response when you go, oh, I want to talk about something as a lecturer is like, is this going to be in the exam? Understandable, right? We're so focused on the exam. But what that means is that what you're exposed to when you're studying is not necessarily something that's going to excite you. You're exposed to stuff that someone else says you need to know. And someone else is giving you the syllabus, the information, the topics you need, the knowledge. And they're telling you this is what you need to know and this is how well you need to know it in order to pass that exam. That's not the same as saying what's really going to excite you about your career. What are you really interested in? I'll be honest with you, nothing in, you know, nothing in the professional accounting syllabus excites me as a topic <laughs> you know none of that stuff is exciting as far as I'm concerned personally and I guess you know when I was studying I can't say I was fascinated by any of it but that doesn't mean that I'm a bad accountant you know that doesn't mean that I don't have a career in in accounting or in in the field that doesn't mean I don't have a career I'm, I'm using the knowledge. The knowledge was valuable. It got me where I needed to be. But it was up to me to find what really excited me. And for those of you who know me, you know this, but I thought I was going to be an audit partner until I was exposed to, to teaching. And I absolutely fell in love with teaching. And now the subject matter is absolutely secondary to the concept of helping someone else reach their qualification journey. I don't care if you're ever going to be an auditor. You know, the reason I, I've, I've lectured auditing for so many years is not because I love auditing. It's, it's, it's secondary to I want to help people get their qualification and explore and expand and, you know, have a great career because I know the difference that it makes in your life. So the secret there or the thing there or the element there is not what other people told me I should be doing financial accounting, financial management, tax, auditing, it was what I explored for myself. It was when I took the step outside of my comfort zone and outside of what everyone else was doing and exposed myself to something different that I found something I absolutely loved. Nothing in the system that I was in, nothing in that tunnel of studying articles, post-qualification stuff, none of that would have exposed me to teaching in that way. It's not part of what there was. I came from a distance learning university, so even the idea of doing academic articles, I didn't know about. Nobody was discussing this with me. It took me stepping outside of the room that everybody else was in to find something that I was excited about. And once I did, I started realizing the world out there is 
so much bigger than the room that I was in. So when you finish studying, you know, if you're working towards a professional qualification, you're doing articles, you're doing a training contract. And so you're not choosing, you know, a training contract because that's what excites you and you want to do this for the rest of your life. It's something you have to do. You know, you have to sign up for it. You've got to work your hours, get your competencies. Da, da, da. And again, the people that are in that space are going to be exposing you to stuff that they need from you. And I want you to be aware the similarity is here is that you're spending a lot of time in a system where other people are telling you what they need from you. This is what you should do. This is what you need to do. This is the level that you need to do it both in your studies and at work. That doesn't mean that you're going to be excited about it. So you may be sitting there going, oh, wow, you know, I'm doing X, Y, Z at work and I love this stuff and I would love to do this for the rest of my life. That's cool. That's super exciting. Very happy for you. But just as much, there's people who are going, I don't know what I want to do. And if I think about sitting, doing this, what I'm doing today for the rest of my career, uh, I just, no, you know. But that's okay. That's not a problem. What you need to do is open the door. The world out there is fascinating. It's exciting. It's open. It's broad. No one in your life is going to expose you to things that are different from what they need from you. Because that's not how it works. And we're always limited in time. Everybody's stressed out. And everybody's thinking about what they need. So are you thinking about what do you need? I want you to get excited about your career. I want you to explore the world outside the door. And go like, oh, you know, actually, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to start a company doing, I don't know, something completely not accounting related. But, but your accounting knowledge and qualification will help you make a success of it. I don't know. I don't know what your passions are. Maybe you don't, but it's up to you to explore them. 